But no coupons? Well, never mind. We'll take you to where they make the stuff, to lovely Wensleydale in the broad green valley of the River Ure. The river rises near the border of Yorkshire and Westmoreland in the uplands of the Pennines. And at Wemsleydale, it seems to pause literally for reflection. Further downstream at Aysgarth, it breaks up into a hundred tinkling waterfalls, the river's playground. The pedigree cattle of the North Riding are rather exclusive beasts. They're the products of careful breeding and good pasturage, and about this time of day you'll always see them heading eagerly for their stalls. Milking time in Wensleydale is a very important occasion, but not because of the milk, rich though it is. Even rich milk doesn't need a coupon. What does is a product of the milk for which this part of the country is world famed, and its preparation gives employment to a large number of workers. You're about to witness the birth of a cheese, a Wensleydale cheese. After the milk has been pasteurized and the whey drawn off, it goes into the cheese vat to be raked and stirred and stirred and raked until the milk thickens. This process slows up the curdling and makes the curd itself smooth and even. There are no large lumps. The right temperature is as important as the right amount of stirring. In the curd breaker, the solid curd is broken into small pieces. And if there's any whey still in the whey, it's pressed out. Now into the mould, where it's compressed into the kind of drum that the cheese connoisseur will tell you can't be beaten. The drums are wrapped in a special cheesecloth that allows just the right amount of ventilation and then they're sewn up for the ripening room, where they stay for about a month. And there they go. Comes the great day when the cheese is let loose, 20 tons of it every week. The distinctive flavour of Wensleydale is put to the test. Up the coupons. <laughs>